faculty point of view, you know, you're, you're a leader in this space and you've got um, a leadership role in the institution. How do you engage other faculty and how do you get them on board with adopting some of the practices that you've described around communication, around uh, offsetting risks for students, around lowering barriers? Yeah. So working with faculty and working with even staff or anybody else that's working with students on entrepreneurship, one of the things that we try to do is be, one, very deliberate about talking about this openly and saying, you know, let's just get comfortable with this. Let's get comfortable with exposing students to ideas of entrepreneurship, getting exposed to the ideas of why diversity matters, why commitment to inclusive practices is going to be beneficial for you overall. What, so a repeated, constant, like having those conversations over and over again. So we'll have those same conversations in small group settings. Then we'll have it in a large network shop. Then we'll have it on an individual basis. Then we'll have it where we say, Let's, let us come into your classroom and present. I think one, being able to approach the problem in multiple different ways. Two, not saying it's one and done. Once you start with the it's one and done, I've talked to this faculty member, I've presented once at the Dean's Council, I've presented once at the faculty meeting, it's enough, now they're gonna get it and really change their own behavior. It's, it's just not, that's not really plausible. But two, doing it in a way that's supportive. So it's less about here are the problems that I see, you're not doing enough to include women in your classroom or you're not doing enough to highlight the successes of the underrepresented minorities in class. But we're not doing that, right? So it doesn't come from a position of deficiency, it comes from a position of how can we help support mm -hmm. a, a value that we all believe in, a value that we all share and that we all care about. So it becomes less about what does the individual person need to do other than the micro changes that he or she might need to make in his or her controlled setting or classroom, but that we create an environment that supports this anyway. So if we're supporting pursuit of entrepreneurial mindset, if we're supporting pursuit of inclusive practices, if we're supporting the idea that this is an entire system that supports it, and it's not just me, the one person in the faculty room that's trying to make this one change in my one classroom, then I think it has an amplifying effect and it allows for a better check and balance system. So it doesn't, it's not that one time, I'm just gonna try this once. They're gonna keep running into it in many different environments and in many different places. Um, and we're deliberate about doing it over and over again, having the conversation over and over again. Um, and then really celebrating people who are coming out the other side of it and saying, here's what we've done in my classroom, here's what we're doing.